from this computer. So this will be recorded separately. So this important document which we are going to do now is to post a journal entry. Do you record the, recall the T code of posting a journal entry in GUI? We did some- FB50. FB50, very good. Very good. So post journal entry, we need to go here. And it is rather very straightforward because we don't need to extract any information. We just need to enter some information. So journal entry date corresponds to the document date. So for example, this document date is yesterday's date. So I did it uh 18 18 march posting date is by default the system takes the current date we can override it if you want and uh, company code if it is not mentioned in your on your screen you need to mention it us double zero the company's uh, the currency is by default us dollars and uh, over here the system again asks us the company code in, uh, when you will do it, probably your screen will be blank. So you need to enter US00 on line item one and US00 on line item two. Somebody can get confused when the system asks us the company code on the top on the header, why it is asking us at the line item level again. So the answer is uh, that uh, this, the way the SAP system has designed is a very is a very highly sophisticated environment. So there may be some situation, just imagine some situation when in within a group of company, one company is buying and another company is selling so ideally there should be two journal entries one in the buying company one in the selling company but within the same group if the two companies are making this entry then there should be some way which sap has come up with that if just one company enters the transition the other transition in the other company automatically is recorded because both are group companies if they are group companies their their data is on the same client then why we make two entries when one group is one group companies dealing with another group company. There can be just one entry and the second entry is automatically made. So for these kind of environment, what we say is a group transaction with, within the group transaction. Sometimes we need to mention two different company codes here. So we mentioned the debit company code here and the debit account of the debit company code and credit company code here and the credit account of the credit company code and the corresponding entries in both the company codes are made automatically. So this is a highly sophisticated transaction, which, which is, which SAP allows us to record to save time. If there are hundred such entries, then actually you save time by not entering 200 entries, but just entering 100 entries. So anyway, we don't need to go to that uh, sophisticated level. So you need to just mention the company code again here on the, in both the line items. I need to deb debit the rent expense. So I, uh, entered the exp rent expense account or just type rent, you will be uh, shown the rent expense account. So it was seven folds, go show all items. Uh, and over here in the sequence, you can go that this is the account number I was interested in, 740300. So I picked this account. I want to debit it by 1200, for example, and you see that uh, uh, you you recall from earlier discussion that whenever we debit an expense account, we need to mention some other details. Do you recall what other details we mentioned in the expense account? Cost center. Cost center, exactly. So you just click here so that it will expand and it will show you some more fields so that it doesn't give any error to us. So we just uh, enter here, you see cost center. So cost center was NAAD. 1000 so as soon as you type NAAD the system automatically shows you the relevant entry and then coming on to the second line item I am crediting 100100 this is the alternative bank account and credit is also by 1200 and there's no cost center need to be mentioned here and after doing these two line items if I want to enter any other line item so let me first collapse it so that uh, the screen is smaller uh, if I want to add another line item, I will just click this button. So a third entry will, third line will appear and I might enter some data in the third line and then I can keep on using this add line item button to add more line items. You see this mark here, right? So item is incomplete. We don't care, we just try to post it. Let's see what happens. So although the item was incomplete, but there was some, it was a warning message probably because of the tax uh, related issues. So it might require some tax entry, but it was an optional entry. So the system accepted the data and the documents has been posted with the document number. So this is the document number. Now you have, I want to see this document. I can just go to this document number. I can just click here display. 
so the immediately the system will take me uh, to displaying of this particular entry right so let's uh, go back sir could you please show me ke sir aapne rent wala jo jl account search karke dala wo kis tarah kya tha ye wala ji sir okay, let's go yahan se hum wapas jate hain are you sure you want to leave this page yes entries hum pehle hi save kar chuke hain to ye message ab hamare liye koi meaning nahi rakhta us page pe bhi kar sakte the sir sorry us page pe bhi aap search kar sakte hain हाँ उस पेज पे भी कर सकते हैं जी जी मैं चाह रहा था कि वो जो है ना कोई कंफ्यूजन ना हो कि वो समबडी कैन कम अप विद द ऑब्जेक्शन कि सर आपने उसी एंट्री को जो है ना चेंज कर दिया तो वो चेंज नहीं हो रही थी एक्चुअली वो एंट्री तो पोस्ट हो चुकी थी इट कैन नॉट बी चेंज्ड सो पोस्ट जनरल जनरल एंट्रीज अगेन अगेन आई कम हियर आई एंटर द डेट ऑफ यस्टरडे इन द जनरल एंट्री डेट एंड once you mention your company code for the first time here and for the first time here for the next time it will automatically pop up so gl account as soon as i type for example rent right you can see that all the accounts with rent are appearing and not all but 10 are here 10 or 12 are here and i can show all of them right from here or if i exactly know the account number then i can just type i don't uh, worry about whatever the system is showing i don't I I know the exactly account number. तो मुझे इसमें चूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है I don't need to choose. And I just uh, switch. And if I want to choose, then I go, shall go here and then click the relevant item. Show all items and then click the relevant item. So I exactly know the account number. So I don't need to, uh, to choose from the drop-down menu. And I then type come here and type the debit amount. Well, one for example. Then come here one zero one one zero one triple zero. again system is showing me a potential list of account this is the one i was interested in so now i am choosing from the drop down list and i want to credit for 1201 same and since it is not a uh, i mean uh, expense account it is an expense account so again we need to, to if i just try to post it see what happens hmm, there is an error there are two errors the first error corresponds to or oh, the tax code and the second is the c object the c object is the cost center so the first one is a warning message the second one is the error message we can go away with this but we cannot uh, do away with this we have to cater this message and in the fury there is no mention that which one of them is warning message and which one of them is a error message so there are some some advantages in gui which are apparently not there in this version of the fury uh, so let's uh, expand it and you see the text code is highlighted this is the optional information which the system is asking we don't need to care we don't need to take care of it and since it was the first error message so system is highlighting this one the first one the system is not highlighting the second one which was more important for us so i enter the cost center here and then i again push the post but post button and potentially the system has entered this document right so this was how we entered a general entry document now you should be able to do your assignment uh, number 7 which is uploaded on schoology so it's my humble advice that uh, although i am stopping the online class now uh, the meeting now but uh, you do the assignment right uh, uh, now there are eight journal entries which you need to make from this interface so just make those eight journal entries and then save your document number if somehow you are not able to save your document number you should be able to trace your own documents by your user id from the manage journal entry app so then you uh, have to submit those eight document numbers in the assignment so this is sufficient for today and then on monday uh, on tuesday inshallah our class again will be in the first half so those of you who can attend the class in the first half should attend those who cannot sh should will be shared the videos so you can then make uh, your decision any issues any questions before leaving no sir <coughs> thank you sir okay so let me thank you all especially zaid who it was despite as he suffering from fever he is very active uh, ali asgar ariba ariba i think is not here she, her name is here but probably she is not here abdul hadi ka bhi main kuch nahi keh sakta yahan hai ya nahi hai ji sir yahi pe ho यहीं पे हैं अब्दुल हादी यहीं पे हैं आवाज में नींद आ रही है गालिब लेकिन बहरहाल इसके बावजूद बैठे हुए हैं या मोबाइल पलंग पे डिस्प्ले के साथ मोबाइल रखा हुआ है 
that's good anyway video is hai we don't need to worry ji ji main bilkul aap pe wo nahi kar raha koi negative tanqeed nahi hai matlab hame dekhe ek aasani hai ki ab videos bhi hai to aap video se bhi make up kar sakte hain thank you kainat and hamza sheikh munib noor noor cr bhi mera khayal hai jo hai wo chai peene gayi bhi hain shahriyar and you sir and all of us sir main idhar hi hu aap idhar hi hain thodi der pehle to humne aapka naam liya tha तब आप चाय पीने गई थी चलें कोई बात नहीं ओके सारा इज वेल सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वी शेल इन नाउ मीट ऑन मंडे कोई इशू हो तो आप जो है uh, ये हेलो साहब कौन है माशाल्लाह ये जो हेलो लिख रहे हैं चलें थैंक यू अल्लाह ओके सर थैंक यू अल्लाह सर अल्लाह